interesting. Um, but what are your thoughts around central bank digital currencies, um, public ledgers, and the way that cryptocurrency as a whole might interact with CBDCs as they start to go live in some more tier one type nations? Yeah. So no one knows what CBDCs will end up looking like, but I can speculate on what I think they're going to end up looking like. So a, comp- a country like the United States, I'll just use that because I, I know this place more, has a Federal Reserve, which is a set of banks that together have databases, computers in those banks that hold almost all of the money in the country. So your checking account at your local bank is not holding dollars, it's holding IOUs. The bank has reserve requirements. The reserve requirements are when your bank has an account at a Federal Reserve Bank, which has the real dollars. (laughs) And as you may be aware, the reserve requirement right now is a whopping 0%. Uh, That happened in 2020. So your bank may not have anything back in the IOU, but, but if it has anything back in the IOU, it can be things like its, its account with the Federal Reserve. So there are people who have actually said, hey, what are you talking about CBDCs? America already has a CBDC. It's a small cluster of banks that are running the network and their computers have databases and those databases have the ones and zeros that are the actual dollars in the United States. The only other actual dollars are physical paper dollar bills and coins. But aside from the physical paper and coins, the only actual real dollars in the United States are in that network of computers, in their databases. Hey, it's like a CBDC. Except I think that an actual CBDC can have some advantages. So right now, it is incredibly painful to try to build on-ramps and off-ramps from crypto. If you want to buy HBARs or some other crypto with dollars, you have to find somebody willing to transfer one to the other. Once you're in the crypto world and you hold crypto, it's much easier to go from one crypto to another. Every exchange does that. That's what makes it an exchange. And DEXs do that. But you can't really have a DEX that automatically goes from dollars to crypto or from crypto to dollars. If the CBDC network, if the Federal Reserve banks were running a network that could interoperate with the public ledgers and transfer dollars, you know, so you have dollars in, in their bank and their ledger that become wrapped dollars on some other ledger, then the whole on-ramp, off-ramp becomes very, very easy. And that would be great. Also, I assume they have um, server technology that can handle if a few computers crash. Typical databases have that ability. But they probably don't have the ability to survive one of their computers being hacked and becoming malicious. If they were using a ledger, they would get that for free, too. And so why not? Uh, Something like Hashgraph is very fast. You might as well do it. Uh, It doesn't cost you anything, and you get this additional security. So there are people that say we already have a CBDC, and it's perfectly secure. Why do we tamper with success? But I would say, no, what we really need is to be able to have the ability to go back and forth between ledgers, especially with state proofs, as I was describing, and you get the additional security. So you want ABFT. You want to be able to show that it's more secure than a typical database. Typical databases only handle failures, not malicious hackers. We want to make it even stronger. Why not? I mean, the current system seems to be safe enough, but why not make it safer? And and then that changes the world. It makes ledgers really an extension. I do not think any country will build a CBDC on a public ledger. I, I think that would be silly. You wouldn't just mint a token on Hedera and say, this is the US dollar. But you absolutely want them to run their own private ledger at the... Federal Reserve Banks that interoperate with the other public measures and going back and forth. If they build a Hedera, you get the speed and security. And as we roll out state proofs, you'll have this ability to go between ledgers without having a bridge with people in it, which is very important. Uh, And so this is what I I suspect in the long term all the countries on Earth will do. So if they want to use Hashgraph, it's open source. They can just get it. And uh, we could even talk maybe at Swords Labs about giving them advice and helping them and... and, um, guiding them and doing some of the work for them to understand it. Uh, but it's interesting. I have, I have these internal com- conversations and external conversations with people, and they just say, yeah, why don't you just run the, the U.S. dollar on AWS or something? And it, that's just ludicrous. Um, no one's going to give one company the ability to counterfeit unlimited amounts of dollars. That just isn't going to happen. But I do think we'll probably end up in the future that I just described, and it will have the advantages uh, that I described.